Welcome to Stern Tube to Gearbox Alignment from Equip Incorporated. Hi, my name is Damian Josephsberg. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. In this presentation, you'll learn a little bit about the Equip procedure for laser stern tube to gearbox alignment. At the end of this presentation, you'll be given some information on how you can have Equip come and help you with the stern tube to gearbox alignment at your facility. During a stern tube to gearbox alignment, you have three objectives. First, you want to determine the relative bore center position of each bearing. Then, you want to determine if the bearing shell is angled or tilted to each other and the shaft line. Then, you want to align the gearbox to the stern tube without the propeller shaft in place. The procedure for a laser stern tube to gearbox alignment is rather simple. You use a laser as a reference line. You measure the fore and the aft of each bearing as it relates to the reference line. And it doesn't matter what kind of bearing it is. This can be done in, a, uh, in an oil lubricated bearing or in a cutlass bearing. Then the relative position of each measured bore is plotted. The bearing dimensions are modeled in the computer so that we can see the forward and the aft position of each one of the bearings that's going to be measured in this alignment scenario. The measurement locations are identified. We want to measure the forward and the aft position of each bearing in the stern tube or if there's an external strut we want to measure the forward and the aft position of the bearing in the external strut as well as the most forward position of the stern tube, we want to measure the bearing that's located there as well. The laser is set up. The easiest place to usually set the laser up is going to be on the gearbox output shaft because that's going to be a generally good location in which to center the laser to all the measurement locations in the bearings and in the stern tube. When measurements are taken with the laser alignment equipment, we get quite a bit of information. We're going to get a horizontal and a vertical deviation of the center of the bore from the center line. We get the standard deviation of the readings, and you could also see the averages here. Basically, what all this means is we take several readings at each measurement location in order to check for repeatability. We want these measurements to be fairly close so that we know we're getting good, accurate, repeatable readings. The standard deviation reading tells us to what degree the bore we're reading is out around or if we're set up in the bore incorrectly when we're taking our readings, we'll get a high standard deviation reading. The number of averages tells us how many measurements or readings were taken per measurement location when we're taking each of our readings. We want higher averages if there's going to be a lot of outer roundness in the bore or if we're in an area that has a high degree of ambient vibration. This is a two-dimensional view of how we can look at our results. We can see we have our two forward bearings and we have our one aft bearing that we're letting set free. Generally, we like to look at an optimized view of the data. What that means is we draw a best fit line through two bearings that we're going to decide are going to be fixed. So this best fit line is actually going through four points, the fore and the aft position of two bearings. In this case, we decided to do that in our forward bearing and in our middle bearing, and we let our aft bearing set free, and we let that be our misaligned bearing will usually do that because that's going to be the easiest bearing for us to move. There are some distinctive benefits of performing a laser bore alignment. First of all, there's the ease and speed of setup of the equipment. The readings that you get are highly accurate. The readings are also non-user dependent. And this is a simple, repeatable check to do on your bearings in your stern tube or in your external strut. 
now that we verified all of the bearings or the stern tube is in the correct position that we wanted it to, we can move on to aligning the gearbox to the stern tube. When you use a laser alignment method to align the, gear, the gearbox to the stern tube, you want to dimension the gearbox and the stern tube and model them within the computer you're going to be doing your alignment in. Once again, we place our laser on the gearbox output shaft. That's where it's going to be as we rotate the laser in order to take readings to the stern tube. Our receiver to our laser alignment system gets placed in the stern tube. This is what's going to receive the laser reading that's coming off the laser that's placed on the gearbox output shaft. These two elements are rotated and we're able to take sets of readings in order to see how these two elements are misaligned to each other. After the measurements are taken, we view our results. You could see here that we let our stern tube remain fixed and our gearbox be the movable element because that's what we're going to be moving in this stage of the alignment. And so we have to make a fairly significant upwards move on the gearbox and a minor move horizontally on that gearbox. Why is Equip the best choice for your laser alignment needs? Well, at Equip, all we do is alignment. We're experts in the field. We're able to take current technology that's available now and apply it to new problems. We continually think outside of the box to solve problems that are out of the ordinary. We have experienced alignment engineers who are dedicated to your specific alignment needs. We will go almost anywhere at any time without almost any notice. We guarantee your alignment will be done correctly the first time. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. For more information on Equip products and services, you can contact our sales office at 407-401-9343. For any technical questions, you can contact Operations at 305-538-7101. You can always find us on the internet at www.equip.com or you could send us an email at info at equip.com. Remember, at Equip, alignment is our business.